And now, another timely and powerful message from Pastor Emmanuel Williams and Imitators of God Ministries, Colossal Vivacious Church in Tallahassee. If you have your Bibles, turn your Bibles to Luke chapter 4. Let's read verse 1 and 2, and then we'll jump over to verses 13 and 15. Luke chapter 4. Because of the discipline we are about to embrace, to embark upon fasting, I want to spend 25, 30 minutes talking a little bit about fasting. Is that all right? Amen. Amen? Fasting. I know it's not a popular topic, amen? <laughs> but it's necessary. It is what? Yes. Necessary. Look here. We are told that our mentor, the founder of Christianity, look what he did. The Bible. Who is the founder of Christianity? Jesus. Jesus. Our mentor. Let's see what the Bible has to say about him. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 reads, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, where he was baptized. Are you with me? Jesus had just been baptized by John the Baptist, and God affirmed Jesus as the Messiah. A voice from heaven came and said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Just got his messianic affirmation. And the Bible says as soon as he got his messianic affirmation, notice what happened. We are told that he was full of what? Oh, come on. He was full of the Holy Ghost. And what did the Holy Spirit did? And was led by the Holy Spirit into where? The wilderness. The wilderness. Verse 2 says, Being forty days tempted of the? Yeah. And in those days he did it? Yeah. Nothing. And when they were ended, that is the forty days were ended, he afterward hungered. He was hungry after eating. Now, now. Notice the Bible said he didn't eat anything. He didn't, not that he didn't drink anything. Because we know from science that the body cannot go three days without water. So he did get a little water. Supposedly. Well, when we go to heaven, we'll find out. Amen? Some of you have said, well, I'm not sure, maybe. <laughs> he didn't eat, we know this much. He did not eat a thing. Amen? Now that's what is called a total fast. We are not doing a total fast. We are modifying what we eat. More like the Daniel fast. Daniel asks only for fruits and vegetables. Let me share with you brothers and sisters. If you go only on fruits and vegetables for 40 days, your body will heal itself. High blood pressure disappear. Diabetes will disappear. How I know, I've seen it happen in previous churches. A church here I, was, I once attended. Um, we went on a 40 day fast, fruits and vegetables. It was a tough fast. 15, 20 people were taking up the medication. You can, it, it, it can happen because the body heals itself. Let me continue here. Let me continue here. So we are told here in verse 2, is it verse 2? And he ate nothing. And when they were ended the 40 days, he was hungered. Notice what happened in verse 13. Can you jump over to verse 13? After fasting for 40 days, 40 days, we are told, And when the devil had ended all the temptation, So from verse 3 to verse 12 is, tem is, the, sto is the story of the temptation. It's over. Amen? Yeah. Verse, three, uh, verse 13 says, He departed for, from him for a season. The devil left Jesus alone for a little while. He's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 14 says, And Jesus returned into Galilee. How did he return into Galilee? In the power of the Spirit. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Verse 15 says, And he taught in the synagogues, being glorified of all. Think about it, saints. I submit to you, brothers and sisters, that in 2023, we need to walk in the power of the Spirit. Yeah. Let me say that again. In 2023, we need to walk in the power of the Spirit. Especially because in 2020, the Spirit of fear was given a megaphone, not a mic. Yeah. Let me say that. Can I bring it home? Because of COVID. In 2020, the spirit of fear was given a megaphone. We need, the we need to walk in the power of the spirit to conquer that fear. Yeah. 
in 2023, we want to break free from some things. Anybody interested in breaking free from some things in 2023? Let me share with you one thing you need to break free from in 2023. Let me share with you one of the things. That was a deliberate pause. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of what to say. <laughs> we need to break free from our concept of God and embrace the Bible's concept of who God is. <laughs> uh, are you getting, we, need to, we need to break free from our concept of God and embrace the Bible's concept of God. For that you will need to walk in the power of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh my God, my God. Uh, you, you say, Pastor, what I'm talking about. Listen to the songs that we sing. We sing songs like, um, uh, uh, help me, Lord. We sing songs like, come in the room. Come in. I thought the Bible says that God is omnipotent. Sorry, um, omnipresent. Sorry. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. More so, we carry God. The God says, he, he, he says, he says, in him, no, <laughs> I will never leave you. Lo, oh, I'm with you always. Matthew 20 and 20. So if he's with us always, if we bring him in the room, why should we ask him to? That's what I'm talking about. It's an old mentality. It's been, it's been defeating us for years. And for some reason, we would not stop it because we are so stuck in our ways. Say what you want, but that's what I believe. I know what I'm talking about. I speak to Christians. Well, that's how the songwriter writes this song. He or she is wrong. And as you begin to submit to God, you see, the reason why Jesus was led to the wilderness is because the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost. When you get full of the Holy Ghost, it's easy to be led by God. The reason why it's difficult for us to let go of bad habits is because we are not filled. Consequently, we cannot be led by God. <laughs> uh, you get what I'm saying? We need to break free from that mentality in 2023. That's if you want to see the presence of God. If you want to shut down the megaphone that the spirit of fear has. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. You don't have to turn there. God hath not given us a spirit of fear. But of what? That's it. He's not given us a spirit of fear. But of power. Love. And a sound mind. You, we have been empowered to love. We have been empowered to have a sound mind. I, say what? A sound mind. And so tell me why. Look, I'm going to make a statement, brothers and sisters. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Are you with me, saints? But can I make a statement here? If God has empowered us to love and empowered us to have a sound mind, why are we crowding the offices of counselors? Say it again. I thought that he's the great counselor. Uh, I thought he told Mary, sitting at his feet, one thing is needful. That is sitting at my feet and hearing my word. Well, let me move on here. Let me move on here. Let me move on here. <laughs> oh, glory be to Jesus. And so says, that's why I'm saying that we need the, to walk in the power of the Spirit yeah. in 2023. The power of the Spirit needs to be functional in our lives. I, listen here, brothers and sisters. Jesus is about to get into his ministry. He's about to step on the stage of life to carry out his ministry. And God told us, as he's about to do that, he was first baptized. He's about to do that. And the very first thing the Holy Spirit led him to do was to enroll in seminary. <laughs> I think some of you are getting it now. No! He was led into the wilderness to fast and pray to conquer that flesh. So the power of God can flow from his body. Can you imagine if one of the requirements requirement to be a preacher you got to fast for 40 days you know how many preachers would have lord have mercy <laughs> let me say that slow if one of the requirements to be a preacher 
was to do what our mentor did. Luke chapter 6 verse 40 says, A disciple is not above his master. But a, you have to see, but a disciple who is mature can be like his master. If one of the requirements, you got to fast for 40 days. You know, you know what I believe, Elder Brandon? I think we would have less preachers, but we would have more preachers of substance. Yeah. We would have some good. I would be. <laughs> what a blessing. Mm, glory be to God. The very first thing, think about it. I did not even realize that until I was just walking, talking about talking to God. I said, Father, can you give me some wisdom? I need revelation on the written word, the logos. And God said to me, look, the very first thing he did before he went, before he was catapulted on the world stage, was to conquer that flesh. When the Bible says to mortify the deeds of the flesh, that's what he's talking about. You kill that body. Let me tell you, for the fast, you need to let your body hurt. Don't worry about that headache. It'll be all right. You need to cut your portions and let your body hurt. Walk around with some, oat, with some oatmeal. It'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, tell your body, I'll give you some oatmeal. One, two spoons of oatmeal, but you'll be okay. Yeah. I'm not stopping for any snack. Are you with me? Yeah. Forget Starbucks for 40 days. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Forget these snacks we love. Bless the Lord for them. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> But for 40 days, you're on a mission because we need to walk in the power of the Spirit in 2023. Is that all right? Yes. Since all the heavyweights fasted, all the spiritual heavyweights fasted, Daniel, um, Hananiah, Misa, Mishael, and Azariah, you all know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and... No, I don't call them that. These are Babylonian names. The boys' name were Daniel. And who else? Hananiah. Mishael and Azariah. That's who I call them. Are you with me? They fasted and heaven opened. They got favor with God. Mm -hmm. Daniel fasted himself. He, Daniel was fasting. He said, I'm going for revelation knowledge and, and I'm not stopping. The angel just happened to broke through on the 21st day. Daniel, read the story. Daniel listen, didn't decide to fast for 21 days. He didn't say, well, 21 days. Are... No, the angel broke through. The man said, look, I'm fasting until I get my result. That's where some of us need to be. Since when Jesus said in, you don't have to turn there. Because I'm, is it okay to go with God as I, as I hear him? I have my notes. I'm not running from my notes. When Jesus said in Mark chapter 9 verse 23 all things are possible to them who what believe he said all things are possible look look jesus said if you can believe what it's, it's right i didn't say it who said it is it in the bible well don't dumb it down don't put a criteria here. He didn't put a criteria. He said all things. And, and what's the criteria? If you what? I'm going to show you how fasting can destroy unbelief. I'm going to give you, just give me a few minutes. I'll show you how. Uh, it's not in my notes, but I got to work with God. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to show you how fasting can destroy unbelief. I believe there is a type of unbelief that only fasting can destroy. Yeah, it's just, it's just a way of life. It's been our brains, our, the, the canvas of our memory has been, just, has been interwoven with unbelief. Because of what we've seen, our experiences, we take our experiences and we put it above God's word. We hear mommy say, daddy say, uncle said, and then that's it. Doesn't matter what God's word says, that's the way our mind is. Fasting will break that stuff. And so the Bible tells us, Jesus came and God said, the first requirement, you got to go in the wilderness to conquer yourself. The power of the Spirit is not for the people necessarily. It's not to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. No, 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 no. The power of the Spirit first is to con conquer yourself. See, let me say, conquer me and my bad ways. Are you with me? Conquer me with my carnal mind. Are you with me? Conquer me because I just cannot deal with people. Because I don't love people. How can you be a preacher and don't love people? 
sheep run to Christ. Kids run to him. Why can't you have a good testimony about Christians? Everything has to be bad. Think about it, saints. It's because you need, I need to be conquered. That habit has to be broken. The Bible says, there are three, three verses. <laughs> Back to our text, please. Let me show you this right here. I'm going to share something with you as the Lord showed me. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 4, sorry. Yeah, we are told, and when he, uh, verse 14, can you go to verse, verse 14? Here. Yeah. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame. What went out? Yeah. A fame of him through all the regions about. Can you go to verse 15? Notice what happened. And he taught in the synagogues, being glorified of all. Oh, he got a lot of preaching assignments. You, you want preaching assignments? <laughs> it, they're right there. The, the equation for preaching assignments is right here. You fast, a total fast, for 40 days. And you'll walk in the power of the Spirit. And people start calling can you come over here? Can you come down there? Can you come give us a word? Because we heard that you opened blind eyes. The lame walked in your presence. Are you getting me saying? It's very simple. We just, we, we, we just, we wouldn't do it. That two-legged devil supervisor that's harassing you, you can take care of him or her. Fasting and praying. Let me, share, let me share this with you. Fasting is not staying away from food. Fasting is staying away from food to spend time with God. Let me say that again. If you're fasting, you are not just denying yourself eating. Mm -hmm. You're denying yourself eating for the sake of pursuing God. If you're just denying yourself from eating, you're just on a road to you on a trip to lose weight. That's all. You're just trying to lose weight. If you don't cooperate fasting with praying and reading the Bible, that is why we have the scriptures to read with the fasting. Amen? Yeah. You remember Jesus while he was fasting? What he did? He, he quoted, when the devil came to him, he quoted from Deuteronomy. Amen? He, he quoted the Bible because he was in the word. In the wilderness, seeking God for direction. So that is why fasting incorporates praying and reading the Bible. That's why we said you've got to spend a lot of time Reading the Bible, less TV. If you have to watch movie, if you, if you have to, if you need to watch a movie, go to Pure Flicks. Watch something clean. Amen. Cut back on social media use. Cut it back way back. Use that time, praise the Lord, to spend time with God to make your way in 2023. Saints, you hear me? We need to make our way in 2023. We need to break free in 2023. Amen. Amen. And the, the first thing we need to do is cut back, mortify the deeds of the flesh. Notice. Notice what's the requirement, hear me, for walking in the power of the Spirit. Notice what God is doing. You know, I, God is such a good God. Notice how God is leaving the door open for you and I. Because the Bible did say, as I said in Luke 40, that a disciple can be like his master. You know, people are saying, well, oh, because Jesus was God. Nowhere in the scripture are we told the reason for Jesus' ability to do any miracle was his divinity. Are you with me? Nowhere. Did, did it say here, well, because Jesus was God, he did that? No. It's because as a man, he fasted and prayed. Amen. Anybody can fast and pray. Yeah. Anybody who wants to walk in the power of the Spirit can fast and pray. The door is open to anybody. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you feeling me? We have the answer to break every chain. You know, you know that song, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Yeah. Yeah, there is power in the name of Jesus. But that power won't flow until the body is dead. You got to modify the deeds of the flesh. Mm-hmm. I told you earlier on all the heavyweights, all the spiritual heavyweights fasted. Let me show you what David said, and I'll bring it to a close. David, 
David was humiliated. David chased by Saul for years. Mm -hmm. Chased by a king for years. When he became king, David was hum humiliated because of his affair with Bathsheba. And not only that, he was, he, he was, he committed murder. And he bounced back from that harassment from King Saul, from being riddled with guilt from Uriah's murder, and from the affair with Bathsheba. This is how he bounced back. Let me show you in the Bible. If you want a bounce back method. Mm -hmm. Anybody here knows about bouncing back? Yes, yes. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. It says here, it says here, <laughs> I, I, did I say all the heavy spiritual weights? They fasted. Let me uh, quickly, 2 Corinthians uh, 11, 27. Let me show you, show you about Paul before, before we get to David. Paul, in, in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 27, Paul was recounting to uh, uh, the preachers, the young ministers, what or some of the things he did that make that made him a very very a true christian he said in verse 27 you have it he said in weariness and in painfulness here it comes in watchings often watchings it's, it's a reference to praying you know the jews they have four watches the watches six to nine is the first watch three hours nine to twelve twelve to three three to six so they have they have eight wa eight watches, four nights, four days. Are you with me? So Paul said, in watch, in praying. How, how, how often he prayed? A lot. He said, in watchings, what? Often. In hunger and thirst. In what? What? In fasting, what? You ask why was Paul was so powerful? Why Paul was able to sustain so many of the, of, the, of the enemy's attack. Why Paul kept moving while everybody kept falling. Is because he told you there in fastings often. Paul did not wait for the church to call a fast. Paul knew what Jesus said in Hebrews in, in, in Matthew 6. Jesus said when you pray it's an expectation of God for Christians to pray. And when you fast. It's not if, it's when. It's, what, it's, what, it's when. So we don't have to wait until we call her. No, we don't have to wait. In June, you can decide, okay, I need to walk in the power of the Spirit. I need more. I'm going to fast. And that's nobody's business. <laughs> Turn to Psalms 109. Let's start from verse 24. King David was being disciplined by God for his disobedience. And during that time of discipline, he was grossly disrespected. You know folk can disrespect you. Well, let me move on here. As part of his, as part of his repentance for restoration, he went out on a fast. And this is what was recorded for us. His fasting. Notice what he says in Psalms 109 verse 24. He said, my knees. What am I to his knees? <laughs> if David had not done that, the man would have plunged into depression and oppression. The harassment from Saul, riddled with guilt. The man would have, he would be looking for a counselor. <laughs> uh, I have nothing against counselors, I have nothing against doctors, brothers and sisters. But sometimes you need to go straight to the source. That's right. Martha went, Mary went straight to the source. She sat at the feet of Jesus. Uh, <laughs> did I say, Mr. Gilmore, I have nothing against counselors? Didn't I say that? But sometimes you'll find out like the woman with the issue of blood. Man can't help you. Women can't help you. You need an answer from the source. What is the source? The word of God. You sit down and begin reading the word of God. And get rid of all these attachments, these affiliations. You and I, you and I, we are dying. We need help. We need to disengage from some of these activities. Uh, 
Mm hmm. Well, my knees are weak. He's in trouble. He's away from his throne. His son is trying to kill him. All Israel is ridiculing him. Mm -hmm. He's feeling bad. He ran from his throne. Solomon took the man's, his father's throne. And he's hiding in a cave. Right here. My knees are weak through fasting. My flesh faileth of fatness. David, and listen, listen, the reason why your knees get weak like this right here is be, you have to be, you have to be either, you have to be on a 30 to 40 day fast. Because listen, listen, listen here. Typically on a total fast, one's strength increases from day 25 to 28. Yeah, from day 25 to 28, as you're fasting, it's sweet. When your body detaches from food and you drink only water, the, you, you, you feel clean and powerful. Oh, oh, but day, day 29. <laughs> day 30, that's more like it. Oh, oh. <laughs> the body is dying. That's when it gives up bad habits. That's when chains are broken. That's when strong, you are loose from strongholds. That's when you begin to start walking in the power of the spirit. Yeah. That's when you find out all things are possible. <laughs> ah, glory be to God. Yeah, yeah, that's when you find out because the body now is out of the way. Your spirit man is now fully restored and renewed. Ah. Mercy, mercy. Day 29 now. <laughs> and he's saying what's happening to him here. Day 29. <laughs> He said, he said, uh, 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 did I tell you the, uh, the phrase Google the most in 2022 was? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, like David did. <laughs> yeah, after the 20th, yeah, you'll change. Because things that matter to you won't matter anymore. Because now your five senses are dulled. They are dead. What you see can no longer affect you. Taste can no longer affect you. Touch can no longer affect you. Ah, God, I give you praise. Yeah, yeah. And now you step in a level with God. Because now it's all spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, listen now, listen. And so he's saying, that's what happened to me. Yeah, yeah, he said, and he continued. What else he said? He said, I am gone. Where are we? My knees, and my flesh faileth away. Uh, he said, my flesh what? I think I have an explanation of that. My flesh faileth away because of what? Fatness. Yeah, he said, he said I'm getting so skinny. That, that's what he said. He said, I'm getting so skinny. Yeah, you see, because the body's dying. Yeah, everything is dying. I'm getting so... He said, now the wind... Can you go to verse 25? Notice what he said. He said, I become... I, be, I, am, I am become also a reproach unto them. When they looked upon me, they shake their heads. Yeah, yeah. They said, this man... What is wrong with him? Is he sick? <laughs> no, his flesh is dying. Yeah, yeah. He's taking his body down a notch. That's why I tell you, you got to hurt that body. Yeah, you got to hurt it so you can, so you can be restored. You got to do what? Hurt that body. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people say, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. It depends whether you want to walk in the power of the Spirit in 2023. Yeah. M Mr. China, anybody can lay hands on the family. Anybody, any man can decide today. I'm going, to, I'm going to embark on the path to walk in the spirit. That's my goal for 2023. I'm going to stand on behalf of my family. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the spiritual force in my family as of today. You haven't got, you haven't got, to, tell, you haven't got to tell anybody anything. You just start. And later on, just like, ju just like we saw, people heard of Jesus and they began to call him. Can you come here and preach? Can you come over here and preach? Uh huh. The only thing is, when he started preaching, they didn't like what he said. 
I'm almost done. I'm almost done, right? I'm almost done. Right here. Let's, let's quickly. He said here, um, where are we? You, I, th I think you jump, you jump further. No, we, you, we're supposed to be on verse 23. No, 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 Psalms 109. Did I say Psalms 109? Yes. Oh, I made a mistake. I went to verse 24 before 23. Can you go to verse 23, please? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Verse 23, you got it? Yes. He, he describes his physical condition with two metaphors. He said, I am gone like a shadow when it declineth. He said, I am tossed up and down as the locust. He's so slim, the wind. <laughs> The man lost so much weight. The wind just threw him back and forth. <laughs> Can you imagine? And here is why David did that. Here is why. I'm, I am beckoning you to be part of the fast. I'm inviting you, please, to be part of the fast. Here is why David did that. Because it was well known in Israel because it was well known in Israel that prayer coupled with fasting inevitably invokes the manifestation of the spiritual, of, your, of one spiritual restoration. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew after you fasted and prayed, you walk in the power of the Spirit. So David knew that because he was humiliated and disrespected. He said, I'm going to God to restore for restoration. How many of you, you need restoration? You, yeah. you, you just need, you need restoration. You need to break free. Yeah, you just need to break free. It, it, enough is enough. Yes, Walking around sick. Mm -hmm. you, you, you. Pastor, you know what I found out today? If you start talking about healing, people look at you strange. Well, not in this church. But you go out there and talk about healing. Even amongst Christians, well, why God didn't hit COVID? Why God didn't heal COVID? Why God didn't do this? Why so many people die? When you go to heaven, you'll ask him. As for me, <laughs> as for me, I'm going to do what the word of God says. Amen? As for me, I have embraced some. Are you with me, saints? Yeah, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you can talk your way out of it. I have a promise from God. Psalms 119 verse 18. It says, I will not die, but I shall live to declare the books of the Lord. That's what I believe. I have another one in Psalms 91 verse 16. With long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. That's it. No, that's what I believe. As for you out there, that's up to you. But I'm telling you what I believe. What I have brought myself to believe. Regardless of what I see, feel, smell, or taste. I believe God's word. Yeah, you have a choice to believe. I, was, I just told you, God said all things are possible to them that believe. And he did not stutter. Bold about it. Because it's the truth. <laughs> Anybody interested in walking in the power of the Spirit? In 20, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Because it's possible. You can change your situation. Let me give you a testimony. I like to end with, I like to end with a story. And uh, I found out the best stories are your stories. <laughs> yes. Apart from the Bible stories, amen? Yeah. I, remembered, I remembered at the age of 21, age of 21, fast, broke and poor. I wanted a change in my life. And I asked God, I said, Father, can you, is there a way out? Because you know, sometimes you just brought up in poverty. My dad, dad was a farmer, mummy, cleaned houses. And nothing wrong with that, amen? Praise the Lord. But I'm just telling you where I came from. And I haven't forgotten where I came from. It's God's grace. I know it's God's grace. God's grace and praying and fasting. These are two disciplines I have submitted to all my life. I know where they've taken me. So I asked God, I said, God, is there a way out? Can you help me? I had a, I had a little job in a, with a company. And, um, and I heard a preacher preaching from Barbados, from Barbados, you, Barbados, 
And he said, God can make a way. He can make a way out. And he began preaching. He said, two things you have to do. You got to find. He said, you, he said, you got to get a schedule. And put some days to fast and pray. And he said this. He said, and if while you're fasting and praying, God told you to give a certain amount of money, you do it. And I'm waiting, I'm saying, I'm waiting because, you know, I'm skeptical. You know, there's a lot of televangelists talking about money. So then I'm saying, I said, I'm waiting for a scripture. Then he said, in Matthew chapter 6, God said, when you pray, when you fast, when you give, I break my Bible open and I saw it. Jesus is speaking, it's in red. And I say, whoa, that's true. I say, God, can you give me some money? <laughs> I said, can you give me some money? Because it's in the Bible. How many of you, how many of you believe in sowing and reaping? Yeah. That's in the Bible. So I said, God, can you bless me? Guess what? I got a call from somebody who had a lot, a small lot. Well, let me tell you, it's my mother. She said, son, I have a small lot. Can you sell it? It's about $3,000. So I said, three, I said, God, is that, the, is, is that the money? So I sold a lot. I got three grand in my hands. And I just asked God for, to make a way for me because there was a job in one of the most prestigious banks in the island. Most pre everybody wants to work there. And there was a vacancy I had applied. And I'm asking God, what can I do? And Mr. Grover, here am I with three grand in my hands. And God said to me, God said to me, give it away. Your mother loves me. She won't. <laughs> I kid you. God said, your mother loves me. Give it away. She won't, she won't harass you. I kid you not. So I said, okay, if that's the Lord, then I'm going to do it. You know, I called my mother and I hadn't given the money. I said, mommy, you know, God told me to give the money away. She said, oh, that's no problem. I said, woo. <laughs> She said, that's no problem, son. Once it's for the Lord, bless God. So I took the money and God told me speci specifically who to give the money to. He told me, give 500, send $500 to a certain pastor. Give 900 to a church. They were building a, a nursery. I did everything I needed to do. And there were two of us in the interview. And I'm waiting for my answer, Mr. Woodley. Because I fasted. I went on a 10-day fast, only milk. I'm saying, what was wrong with me? <laughs> I'm just doing it. I'm trying to do it now, but it's rough. <laughs> you, you see, when you are young, <laughs> you feel invincible. <laughs> Will, I, try, I tried for two days on milk. I said, oh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a piece of cantaloupe. <laughs> but you know, when you are young, man, <laughs> so, so I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, Miss Paddy, I'm waiting for my answer. They gave the job to another guy. No, no, hear that, no, hear that, hear that. I break my, you know, I, I, I was in my Bible. And I come, I come across Proverbs 13, 10. It says, hope deferred. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it's a tree of life. And the Holy Ghost said, your job wasn't a technical. I said, not. I said, I just got a letter from the bank. They gave somebody the job. You are telling me my job is not taken away. But Miss Paddy, I still believe God. I began to cry. I went back to the old job, crying and weeping. Seven days passed. Seven days I'm fasting. The runner for the office came in with some cakes. You know these cakes you just, you just cannot give up. I get, you, you know some of you see these cakes and you just, your seven day in a fast, only milk, you haven't eaten a thing and your hands just keep moving by itself. Me <laughs> 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 so, and my hands go, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I remember I was fasting. Elder, that same afternoon, I got a call from the manager of the bank that same afternoon. Oh and he said, Emmanuel, the guy we gave the job never showed up. Because I had prayed. I said, God, this is what I, I said, God, move him laterally or promote him. Oh. I didn't pray to kill him like some of you would. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> Lord, take him out. This might know. <laughs> That's a selfish My prayer. Decision. I said, move him laterally or promote him. The man called me and said, the guy never showed up. What happened was they offered him the job on Wednesday. He had to start the, the following Monday. He, on Friday, he got a call from a university. To, to, he got a full scholarship. 
full scholarship and he just took he took up Saturday never told the bank anything and the manager of the bank called me and he said Emmanuel the position is available do you still want it and I paused because the tears began to run down my eyes God is faithful yeah. after giving away three thousand dollars and fasting I was just on my seventh day I haven't fasted ten days my seventh day the job just broke open for me no no hear me I went to the job Mr. Woodley and when I stepped in the office you see every night I used to come and behave like I was like I had the job so I used to dress at night and come walk to the bank like it's my job you see I was acting like until yeah, yeah, yeah. I was behaving like. And so what I did, when I was walking to the bank, 7.45 that morning, 7.45, same shirt, same tie, and the Holy Ghost reminded me. And I'm walking to the bank crying, and people are looking at me. They don't know. They thought somebody died. Yes, the devil. <laughs> I, I'm, I, when I teach, I'm not teaching on something somebody told me. Uh -huh. I've walked it. Uh -huh. I know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Saints, you can trust God. Uh -huh. Then trust this word. With all your you, you, I went to, I, I got a job, 21 years, making seven grand. And a projects officer, I qualified for a vehicle. I got a vehicle every time I drive it, they give me, every time I drive it, 21 years old, they give me 50 cents. You know I drove that thing. <laughs> so here am I, blessed of God, 21 years old, with a, with a brand new vehicle. A money maker, gravy on the salary, just because. I trusted God's word. I say this to say all that. I say all this to say that since. Take this fast serious. Ask God to help you. We've modified it. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. To walk in the power of the spirit. Amen. Please take time to meditate on the Word and let it sink into your heart and soul and mind today. Knowing that the Christian who meditates on the Word will be like a tree planted by the water, bringing forth fruit in its season and prospering in all that he does. But what if you aren't a Christian today? What if you don't know if you're bound for heaven as a forgiven child of God? If that's you, then let's take care of it right now if you're ready. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Are you ready to be forgiven of your sins and washed clean and made new? Are you ready to begin your new life in Christ? Then turn to God right now and say, Lord, I love you. I need you. I repent of my sins. Lord, please forgive me and wash me clean. I receive your forgiveness right now as I put my faith in Jesus as my Savior. God, please lead me and teach me and show me how to live from now on. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And if you're looking for a good church family, you'll be welcomed with open arms at Imitators of God Ministries, Colossal Vivacious Church in Tallahassee, located at 4750 Capital Circle Southeast near Tram Road. Sunday school begins for all ages at 10 a.m. and the morning service begins at 11. And the Wednesday evening service begins at 7. This is a life-giving, multicultural, multi-generational church where people of all races, backgrounds, and walks of life come together to worship, to be inspired in their love for God, to develop relationships, and to be empowered to live out God's purpose for their lives. Find more information on their website, imitatorsofgodministries.com, or call the church, 850-408-8496.